when I finished the last session, we were talking about venting and making sure that uh, when your spouse, uh, now I want to talk to the spouses of a supine. It is very vitally important that you allow your spouse to vent. And I understand that it can probably be a little tough for you as a spouse because uh, probably more than likely they will be venting about you <laughs> and what you might be doing wrong. So it is hard for a spouse of a supine to really not take uh, offense at what your spouse may be saying to you. So I always say to you, listen, it's really tough, I'm sure, to hear your spouse venting about you and what you're doing wrong, but realize that they are venting and they must vent, otherwise you will not like the explosion that a person that a supine can uh, it will happen one way or the other if you do not allow your spouse to vent to you so it's really important that you allow them to vent right then and there um, an example might be uh, your wife or your husband might say to you why do you do this or why do you do that now you'll have a hard time not wanting to fight back or just to say something back but to realize they're venting and it's really important that you allow them to say that so that it will not be pushed down into their anger chamber we, we call it an ang an anger chamber right here and with each time a, a supine gets angry about something they just push it down they just keep pushing it down and pushing it down and pushing it down and it is so vitally important that you allow them to vent right then and right there so they don't push it down in that anger chamber now what happens if their anger chamber gets very full and overflowing that's when the volcano effect will happen and so it's really important that you allow them to vent now, uh, to the supine, I will say, it's very important, and I've had to learn this myself over the years, to go to the Holy Spirit and vent to Him. Because this way, especially because supines don't want to hurt anybody, and a lot of times it's why a supine won't vent to their spouse or to the person that they're really angry at, because they don't want to hurt their spouse or their friend or whoever it is that they want to vent to against or about so it's important that if, if you're feeling like this go into your room you know shut go into your room shut the door and and just start talking to the Holy Spirit venting to the Holy Spirit because he's there to help lead and guide you and he will help you through these different um, these different things that you might be going through so I hope that um, this might have help, helped the spouse of the supine and the supine themselves and um, come in to make sure, don't, don't self-diagnose, make sure that you know for sure if you are supine or not.